How's everybody doing? Yeah. All right. So uh, I'm ready to get started. Hey, um, as you know, my name is Hubert Sawyers III. I'm a digital communications professional from the Detroit area, and I'm a huge music nerd. So uh, it should come no surprise that uh, I have a music theme to my presentation. Now, I know you're all looking at me and going like, all right, Hubert, man, why are you making fun of the Iceman today? And, you know, he's got a TV show and everything. Well, let's just say you see this dreamy crotch rocket. I'm doing it for him. You know, while Vanilla Ice is the real star of the pseudo-biopic slash 90s remake of Rebel Without a Cause, uh, you know, the, the banana-covered male equivalent of a, you know, a sex toy needs to be exalted, too. You know, I'm already digressing, so let's get on to the $6 million movie that is cool as ice. Um, you may or may not know, but the film only made $1.2 million, barely clearing the, uh, the $1 million fee that Vanilla Ice was actually paid. So it makes you think, what would he do with that money? You know, he probably bought, like, some motorbikes, got some massages, uh, so lots of hair gel, um, some shit for his swimming pool, uh, some bodyguards, and a personal chef that purchased and made his ramen noodles. Now, I don't know about you, but that's not a great way, that's not what I want to hear with someone that I just gave a million dollars, but call me crazy. Vanilla Ice went from, you know, faking street cred, going platinum, to, you know, getting visits from Suge Knight and then eventually going to jail for the first time by threatening a homeless man with a pistol. Now, Cool as Ice doesn't deserve to be in the same sentence as Rebel Without a Cause, but it does teach us a few things. You know, you, you should learn to respect your platform, you know, stand for something, and, you know, at least write, do the right thing. Uh, cool as Ice, if you know, he had a love interest by the name of Cat, and he didn't care who it was he didn't respect at all. He didn't care about her dad, didn't care about her existing boyfriend. So, you know, it's already, you're, you're going to be put yourself in a shame pool. I don't know if you guys remember this, but, uh, you know, he jumped a fence while she was riding a horse and almost killed her, which one would think that would end the movie right away. Like, seriously? But that's just the thing. Like, no matter how much money you spend on trying to look cool, you can't fake, can't fake the funk. You got to stand for something. So I think we should just go back to this bike, though. It's just, it's just so sexy. I just, I don't know. I want to clutch something, but I won't because this is, this is the PC crowd. So, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, essentially, when it comes down to it, I advise a lot of artists on what to do and what not to do. And bad boys always get the attention. Um, and in this, in this instance, uh, you know, when you use the phrase, lose a zero and get with the hero and mean it, you kind of got to know either you're illiterate or <laughs> you, you got to expect for some failure. You know, one would think he used that sweet bike, that sexy bike that back in the day, hip hop never used. We didn't use bikes. We used hoopties. We used busted ass Jettas. Now, funny thing is, he was into rap and also motocross. Now, Corey Hart has shown that you can actually ride bikes and date a pop star. Now, Vanilla Ice has slept with Madonna, but what has that got him? Not much. Now, I don't care what you want to do with your life. I just, you know, want you to be happy. You know, just really, if you're going to do it, do it with skill. Do it with passion. And the thing that Vanilla Ice, it just never seemed like that was his case. You know, like how many ways that he went about it, it just, I, it just is unreal. And so all I want to say to you today is that if you're, if you're going to be about it, don't be a douche. You know? And unless you want Suge Knight coming to visit you at your house, um, you know, if you want people to think you're a joke, if you even still want to use the name Vanilla Ice at age 45 or whatever age he is right now, you know, or you could be like Mr. Freeze. My name is Hubert. 
I thank you guys for my time, and that's my presentation.